We got the edge. We are so excited at Three Birds because we have received a really challenging design brief. There's a home on this steep block, three stories high. It has damp issues, it has no feeling, it's not practical, it's got lots of separate rooms and not much open plan, and the three floors definitely don't connect together. We got the, air. the brief was really focused around a Mediterranean home. With the design of this property, we really want to bring to light some of the beautiful Mediterranean features. The clients have traveled a lot. We wanted to do it in a, in a different way though, just have it more of a European feel, kind of a really kind of modern version of the homes that they do in Mallorca and in Europe. The overall feel and look and vibe of this home is stonework, internal and external, textured render, the use of lots of really cool tiles like arches, washed out cabinetry with big chunky stone, like that whole Mediterranean feel. This renovation is without doubt our most challenging ever. This is a high stakes game. We're on a sloping block, limited access. We've got heavy materials. Oh, I said from day dot to the girls, this will be the most challenging renovation we've ever done and potentially ever will. We got the edge. Hey, hey. Got so that's our challenge, to turn this home into a vision of modern Mallorca. Got the edge. So the current layout of this home is, it's like a little rabbit warren, honestly. There's just rooms coming off rooms everywhere. It's got some features that lend the property to move in a certain direction and those features are arches in the windows. But the layout, it's just, you, you're not making use of the beautiful views. They can't see the views from the kitchen. We want to open up the house and have the kitchen open to the dining, have the kitchen open to the lounge, make it a really kind of sociable, beautiful area that the family can mix, chat in and live in. But it needs to be open plan living, making the best use of those views. <laughs> Now this once was ground floor, this was their ground floor. This will actually be their first floor when the renovation is finished. And on this first floor is where all the action happens. We've got a kitchen that's going to be across this back wall over here. So this will be the brand new kitchen here. In front of me will be the brand new lounge room. We'll have dining over here to the right hand side, just off the kitchen. Island running this way, cabinetry at the back and we'll walk straight through here, punch a hole in this wall, and the other side of that will become the new laundry. Holy dooly. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Life Size Plans is a brilliant service. I would recommend it to anyone who's renovating or building. It just gives you the opportunity to really walk your plans and feel them. And this is our 3D fly through. Isn't it I feel spectacular? Like I'm there. Are we able to keep some of those palms? I'm just focused on the palms well, for a moment. Can, try. Try. can I take them to my house? No, no, yeah, we're but going we're to focus try on this house. Right. Right. All right, let's go inside. Oh, I want to okay, go inside. Okay, let's, let's walk in. Okay. How big is this? Oh, I know. Yeah, so big. So this space here, now we're planning on using it as a um, pantry or butlers and, and a laundry. laundry. All in one you know, combine the space and make it really big and generous. All the way through to here? Yeah, yeah, because you want to... big. It's really, really big, but I think we're, we're considering changing it. Yeah, I think when we started this project, it was really important for the owners to have a um, substantial office space. And then I think, you know, COVID kind of really stuck around. And then there was the importance for two offices for the clients. 
So we could just put a wall up here because we've still got enough here for the laundry with plenty of storage to have your odds and ends from the kitchen overflow. But this is awesome seeing it like this to kind of understand where we can actually and chop to, that in to, half. And to really feel if it's the right size. So and then I think it's, this is still a nice study size. Yeah. I think it's big enough. So it's amazing coming onto the site when it's the demo's been done and it's literally just hanging in the wind with a few walls up and that's all. No roof, there's rubble everywhere. The house has really been torn to pieces. If you're wondering when you look at this house, why renovate when you've had to strip it back this far? Well, there are you know, lots of reasons and the house has good foundations, good brick foundations, and it's on a really challenging block. And so the foundations are here and we can build under renovation guidelines, whereas with a new build, you're in a different envelope of standards and where you can go and heights and coming out near the street and all of that. But with a the renovation, there are different guidelines and we think we can get the best bang for our buck with a renovation. Step to the top of the hill. I'm really thankful to the clients for this job because I really believe it means that we can go on a study tour to Mallorca. Yeah, look, it's really important that we really nail the, um, the styling and those, the final aesthetic of this house. Um, so I do feel like a little trip overseas is on the cards. <laughs> I'll be there in 0.2 of a second. I know Airs will be there in 0.2 of a second. Lana won't come. Like, there's just no way she will come. She is like essential travel only. She will probably be so conscious of jet lag that she'll wear these massive goggles the whole entire time to prevent her from getting it. So when Bon and Lana went to Paris, uh, where did they go? They went somewhere a couple of years ago. But yeah, Lana had these um, glasses or goggles perhaps. Well, Mick Jagger, he, he came to Australia and he was photographed by the Paps up on his hotel balcony wearing these special futuristic jet lag goggles and I'd already been wearing them years before Mick. Did uh, Mick Jagger do it? Yeah. And they're to do with your circadian rhythm. I think she did it in America as well. I've got photos of me in them on um, Manhattan Beach in California. No jet lag. So these are the painted, obviously painted. Yes, windows. yes. Okay. So, th and um, this this window here yep. is a casement window. Oh, you got you the wind out. The wind out. Yeah. This is our double hung. Now this one comes with an option for a sash horn, so that might be something if you do opt for the double hung. And this yeah, is our just beautiful, just classic. Yep, our um, beautiful hinge door. We can do it with or without bars. Yeah. The windows and doors at this property are a real key feature. To be honest, they're actually probably the hero. A lot of the timber windows and doorways in this house are arched and they're like that on purpose. It's creating the Mediterranean look and feel that we're after. And we are looking to do, yeah, quite a few arches in this house. So that's, we do move into custom work. Yes, that's right. We don't have any on display. Here. We don't have any on display. Um, however, we, we would on our website have some examples of what we can do. Um, and we would be able to custom make those yeah. to suit your home. I know that the client, you know, absolutely loved Lana's house, you know, that Mediterranean feel. So the brief was really focused around a Mediterranean home, you know, Sophie's home, um, Lana's home. But this is going to be sort of like my house 2.0, you know, just bigger, 
espera. Holy moly! Oh Wowie! My gosh. Far out. I love how high they are. I mean, Steg Bar have just delivered the windows and doors of my dreams. You know, where were they for my house, I gotta say. All right, let's go over to the dining area and kitchen. <sighs> the dining space, we're still kind of playing with at the moment how we actually work that. Are we centering the table on that beautiful arched window? This dining. is day bed, really. It's a day bed. Oh, wait, a bench seat? Yeah, look how deep it is. Yeah. It's like a, you could sleep on it. Bench seat all the way along to the, the kitchen. The back seat to the kitchen. We're kind of, you know, throwing around a few ideas at the moment. We're definitely having a bench seat smack bang in that window so you can sit and have a wine and look outside. That's my spot. That like would be my spot at the house. Sitting here, stand there. morning coffee. Sorry, sit there. Coffee, wine. wine. So then it's about furniture placement here with yeah, the fireplace. Yeah, what are you thinking? Because oh, that's We're your... already talking furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to furnish it soon. I think the area that we've got for the fireplace is that moment when you get to that first floor where you go, oh, wow. It really, really sets the tone of what's happening inside that home. This needs to be the sitting room where you watch telly, but also the entertaining conversational room. Yeah. Because when guests come, this, you sit here and you want to be sit opposite and oh it's my not God, just I just about cannot wait. watching I know, TV. This time around with the paint, we're going to use it to bring that Mediterranean style into the property. So I'm really excited to see the colour that the girls have chosen for the window trims. This room in the ceiling in the living space is just spectacular. It's really lifted that room to another level. I wasn't sure about it when Bond suggested. I thought it might make the house a little bit busy, but it is exactly what that space needed. Yeah, look, sometimes it can be really challenging when you've got a lot of people on site, you know, our team, the builder's team, you might have other trades there, trying to work out measurements of things, or, or when it comes down to personal opinion, it gets really tough, you know, should the bath be one centimetre this way or that way, and then you're looking at it from a practical point of view, it's going to look nice to walk into each day, and then what's going to feel good. Then we're in this big space, and what do you see when you walk up the stairs? What's the first thing you see? Oh, well, the ceiling. That's yeah. intrim, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's not normally though. You don't normally walk up the stairs and see the ceiling. I but I mean, it's, so it's beautiful. potentially because we don't have oh, we don't the kitchen here. We don't have the furniture. Oh, I would be seeing the kitchen. <laughs> the fireplace is going to be a real feature of this home. We've gone with a low pi gas fireplace. And what we're doing around it is this amazing veneer stone masonry wall. So we've got these um, special curved pieces to come around, custom made come all the way round. That is insane. Um, and then our low pie fireplace and the telly up there. Then that wall is going to, the veneer stone will continue all the way across into the kitchen. Stone, stone, yep. stone, yep. stone, 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 stone. Oh, no way. Yeah. Stone on the inside of the arch. Well, that's what it says on the wall. Okay. So I think that's what's happening. Okay. Well, that's, genuinely, that's how we I, communicate I think that's though. Happening. Can we just pop out? Yeah. I just want to have a look at the um, veranda in yes. this light. Yes. How beautiful is it? Yeah, it feels gorgeous. So this is the Dulux Acrotex? It is. It is. It definitely is. And this is the what they call the skin, Yeah. I believe. This is our final coat, so this has got the colour in it. Yes, and so that colour is um, white the... June quarter. Yeah, Dulux white June quarter. And um, the green, are we calling it green or blue trim? Well, I call it blue. Do you? I, yeah. Do you, you're green? I don't know, actually. You know what? I think it could be blue. Yeah, I actually, see blue. Actually, is it your jacket? I see blue. Let's put it up again. It's oh. almost oh. identical to your jacket. That was not planned today. Look at that. But then, funny enough, I might call this green. <laughs> well, and that is call funny. that blue. And this green. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm not it. even going to try, actually. Blue. Oh, here. This one's nice. I think they're nice, those two. Okay, I'll just get the one that's not the tester. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so nice to meet you. My mama Sita. We could ride, ride, ride. This is beautiful. This is nice. That's nice. 
That's that's nice. That's nice as well. Yeah, that is oh. nice. That one. I'm obsessed with this lounge. Yeah, this is perfect. Look, I'm feeling really positive that we are going to nail the design. This is going to be a beautiful home. It is going to be a different looking home. The transformation is going to be enormous. Oh, when the woodcut flooring goes down, it's like you know you're getting there, like the good stuff is coming. With this one, we've obviously gone with that kind of more rustic farmhouse, beautiful kind of soft, um, warm brown. Oh, look, it's always an exciting day when Ronnie and his team from Carrera come in and start installing the joinery. It's a real milestone to meet when you get to that point. You know the finish line is near. Higher, take me, Lord. Take me on up to the higher ground. Champagne and after parties, a Cadillac for it. So this is all the carcasses are in? Carcasses are all in. We're now ready to measure up for the bench tops yep. and get them going and then yep. start fitting off the doors when it's time. So we always say renovating is about compromise. You can't have it all. And we wanted to maximise the space in this house, which meant we had to be really clever with where to put the laundry. And so we've created this sort of butler's laundry combo space. Oh, I'm loving this, this stack stone around here. This is going to be another nice laundry. Of course, of course. you only do nice laundries. I know, I know. So here we're going to have those retractable doors, yeah. right? Because we've got the washing machine dryer, which will be hidden away. Yeah. Um, and when the time comes, we'll fit the doors and we'll do what we have to do. Yeah, so we'll stack it there. We've got mm -hmm. the nice tall cupboard. You've yep. got to have a tall cupboard. Yes, you do. All right, so how long from now till stone is on? Rob is here Friday to start measuring up the stone because yeah. we've got a few more areas to finish off today. Yeah. Hey, what's the edging we're doing? Oh, it's special, is it's, it? It's, it? Yeah. What do you call it? Yeah, no, tell me. Okay, so I just it's can't, a, I just can't it's remember. a big, thick, full bull nose. Yeah. So you know, bull nose is back. It, like, it well, is well here. yeah, I know. I, I tried to tell Bonnie it was um, dated. She said, "Are you joking?" Bull nose, baby. And I was like, "Oh wow, yeah, yeah. actually, I think you're right now." So the, the whole bench is nice and thick. Hundred mil, nice. Hundred mil 100 bull mil. nose. Yeah. Yeah. Chunky. And gosh, it's going to be hard to lift the, the tallow stone up that hill. Well, we experienced that bringing up these covers, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be even harder. Given the steep block we're working with, getting some of the fixtures and fittings and even appliances into the property is going to be a real challenge. I can already foresee that we're going to need to get a crane in. I think the main thing that goes through your mind when you know that you're, you know, you've got a home that has lots of walls. So when you do take down those walls, it's how are you going to zone the spaces and how is the family going to live within those spaces? Big, 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 big things are coming. Big things coming. Oh. Get your hands clapping. Oh. Keep your feet moving. Oh. Big, 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 big things are coming. Just like this? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, what's this? The Echo Dot speaker. It actually matches the decor. The um, the pops are black. And stick it on a little bit of travertine and Bob's your uncle. It looks amazing. You've made it look fabulous. It does, doesn't it? The Optus O team came in the other day and installed everything, taught me how to use it all, and it honestly does make your life easier. No. Look, so they even set up this smart display. Hey, guys, have you seen this? Yeah, isn't it cool? So you pair your Echo Show with your TV by using an Amazon Fire Stick. The other day when he told me exactly how to use everything, you could pretty much sit here and say, 
you know, like, like turn on a comedy. Yeah. And then I've had enough of my comedy, just turn off my comedy. And you know what I think is because it's three levels, I know I've got three levels, it's so awesome when you've got the speakers able to talk to each other across the levels so you're not yelling. I'd now be able to say, Alexa, uh, can you tell Heath it's time to shower? And do you know there's a vacuum cleaner? I'm not kidding, you talk to pretty much the vacuum cleaner and say, vacuum my floors. And I really struggled with it when I was doing it because I didn't say please. Oh, no, it has to wait for please. No, like, no, oh. I wanted to oh. say felt please. Awkward not I felt saying yeah, please. like it was like oh. vacuum my floors. But I wanted to say, can you please vacuum my you floors? You could still say it, but you don't have to. No, but the then point. it doesn't it doesn't register, it doesn't move. So you you're not allowed to say please. Well you can say vacuum my floors. Please. Please. Yeah. And how are the Optiso team in helping? Oh, they're so good. I mean Jack's great. Yeah, they're just awesome. They just know their stuff. I like that everything is not in your face. Like, it's not this big screen. It's not this big speaker. It just sits yeah. seamlessly within well, your home. Look at that. Like, honestly, yeah. you can buy sculptures that look like that. Like yeah. a little thing, a little black ball. It just happens to be a speaker. Big, 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 big things are coming. I mean, the original space was like a rabbit warren. Yeah, it was a number of different rooms. Yeah. But I think it's just such a huge transformation in this space. The biggest feature in this whole entire room is that veneer wall. Yeah. That's really set the tone for the whole entire house in regards to the style of home it is. Yes. And it's just beautiful. Like who doesn't want that in their house? And I'm loving the colour of the windows and doors. Aren't they nice? Oh. Okay, are they blue or are they green to you girls? Here we go again. Blue grey. They're blue green. They're blue green grey. Oh, you're adding no, another no. colour. Oh, so you do see the green in it though? Yeah. Yeah, a definitely. Bit. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Blue green grey, officially called Coalition by Dula. <laughs> <laughs> so, in case you're it wondering. Has a name. We've got this gorgeous balcony off the living space now, and it, it's actually where the front door used to be. So we really have flipped this place around. My favourite thing about out there, apart from the view, um, is the tiles. Yeah, it's like it's a work of art on the ground. It is. You know. you know what? The tiles in this whole house are fun. They're really fun. Yeah, there's definite repetition in the tiles, but yeah. with the repetition throughout this house, there's that little tiny quirk in each of the different spaces. Yeah. So out on here, I mean, it's just a stripe. It's just this gorgeous little stripe with a terracotta tile. It's, yeah, it's really cute. I yeah. love it. And I love, I, I just compliments in with the curtains. The Luxaflex curtains yeah. just top this off for me because, you know, your view is everything here. That's what you want to see. But you also want the privacy. You want the coziness. So those curtains are just spectacular. Yeah. And the ceiling in this space, the living space, it is a work of art itself, yeah. in itself. The interim detailing on the ceiling, the detail pops itself. It didn't need a colour to pop. Oh, it is everything. I love the detail on the ceiling. I mean, the transformation of the kitchen is enormous because essentially it's moved locations and it is in this enormous open space here. So yeah, it had to move. It, it's in a whole different world now. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the Ilvi cooker. Yes, it, Ilvi, it, you know it's Ilvi. Like, Why do you call it a cooker? I is don't it, know. It's a cooker. It's, it's an oven, isn't it? No, no the cooktop and the oven. They, they call it a cooker. Oh, like ER, as it's in. called a cooker. It's called yeah. the Ilvi something something cooker. It's next level, my dream, dream, I was going to say oven, but dream cooker. Do you know why though? Because of the colour? No. Oh. Because it has gas and induction. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a pretty special How feature. Cool is that? 
gas and induction. That's yeah. really like cool. Like when you're there and you're cooking yeah. on a Sunday and you've got a glass of wine, you want gas. Yeah. Oh, okay. You I want gas. Instant, like yeah. like very fast heat. Oh yeah. no, I don't mean that. It's a moment. Oh. Gas is a moment. Like when you're cooking, oh, it's I'm a moment. About the functionality. Of yes, it. but but induction super fast too. No, yeah. induction is when you're cooking yeah. your kids' dinner and you just got to get it done. You want to wipe yeah. it up cleanly and yeah. off you go. The yeah. mac and cheese. Yeah, exactly. No. No, I don't. My love, my change. My like, you know how we talk about the range hood and the um, cooker, just mm. the most gorgeous colour and yeah. pretty much set the tone for the whole entire kitchen and then you've got matching, a matching toaster and kettle from DeLonghi. Oh. They look like they all come from they, the same. It's like this do. little family, Rain. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, they're gorgeous together. Yeah, mm. that real beautiful cream. Mm. It's come it's together it's beautifully. Super it is. It's a really kitchen. nice kitchen, isn't it? The bench top, like just that thickness mm. of that rounded tallow stone, amazing. Mm. Ample storage in there as well. You know, we've got integrated the fridge, integrated fridge freezer, the pantry on the other side, and then we dive into the laundry, which is really a laundry with a dash of butlers. To it's, be honest, well, I yeah. think it's, butler. I think yeah. it's a butlers yeah. with a dash of laundry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's beautiful because the retractable doors that can mm -hmm. hide the um, hide the appliances, perfect. Yeah. And we know how convenient. I mean, but I don't know if you've had a Euro laundry. Bon and I have. So mm. convenient. Yeah. yeah, but that's more than a, a Euro laundry. Yeah. That's like oh, that's a proper all laundry. Yeah, like, true. You know, that's bigger than. It's actually so the many both trees. Worlds. Yeah, you've it got is. all the space, but you can also hide the appliances. But you know what? Those appliances. If... Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, have you seen? Oh, oh they're, they're beautiful. The yeah. black, the black hire just yeah. goes boom. The they're so back. stylish. They're, they're sexy. I, I actually know. think they're sexy. Ones. I didn't know we'd chosen black, and then I opened yeah. it. Got the other day. I went, woo! Yeah, <laughs> it is. It. It's good, isn't it? styling that we've gone with in this house to me in this space it feels really sophisticated it feels really grown up and it mature yeah. and it's super functional which I love I love the way we've set up the um, the lounge room yeah. where you can sit so many people and it's all centered around the fireplace you've got the two chairs opposite the two mm. chairs and then the sofa yeah. looking at the fireplace and the TV it's just like with that huge rug and oh, I love the rug and yeah. the um, mm. The black coffee table. Now I love the pops of black. Just yeah. it's so it brings that sophisticated element. I think in. that's the sophisticated. It's the black coffee table, and then you've obviously got the black fireplace, and then that makes the black TV work. But the dining space for me is probably my favourite. Oh, is I'm, it? Oh, I'm I'm with the, you. the bench seat. Well, I thought oh. we were going to push the dining table up into the bench seat because we often do that, but, but we could. haven't. We've done bench seat and then table in addition to bench seat. You know what we I did? We, we ended up doing it that way because the way the room structured, having that pendant sit centre on that window, mm -hmm. so you were centred on the window, table centred on the window, having all the chairs around it with enough room for walkway through but still having that bench seat, it was just the best use of that space. It needed to, and, and it was, everything was symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love so, it that way. Gosh, I love that dining table. The sculptural legs and it just mm. is so sophisticated you know it, again it's that word the color of it is beautiful the leg on it's beautiful kind of you know it tells a story with what's happening with the pillow at the back there's lots of curves in this and house it's mm. from Oz Design. Mm -hmm. yeah mm. you know just it's just fantastic we always find those pieces in Oz Design. yeah that we then just pull off the shop floor basically put it in the home and mm. it just comes to life yeah. yeah when you put all of the styling and furnishing around it it just yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. Having the open plan, the kitchen lounge dining, yeah. this is the hub of this home. layout in this house does have all of the bedrooms on the top level, but we're going to rebuild them. I can't believe so much has happened. This is unreal. Oh, wow. It's a, light, it's a sun trap. Yeah. The design process, it's a long journey. 
So the original bathroom, it absolutely wasn't going to survive in this house when we're trying to bring to life a vision of modern Mallorca. Oh my, isn't she cute? She is, I love her. Ta-da. Yeah. Just looking at it excites me. 